member, sorry. Sorry, I'll call the member for Kerangamai. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I rise to speak on this motion before the chamber today. And I want to start by saying it was the coalition government, the federal government, as recognised by the member for Indi, that has made this very significant $100 million commitment that we are rolling out. And we are incredibly proud that we have recognised the importance of mobile phone communications across rural and regional Australia. Like the member for Indi, I represent a large regional seat. 136 black spots have been identified in the federal electorate of Kerangamite and have been registered with the Department of Communications. We know how important it is for small businesses, for farmers, for families to feel connected, particularly in areas of high bushfire risk. There are many parts of my electorate where there are high uh, bushfire risk areas. And being connected by your mobile phone is so important. So I do commend the member for Indi for bringing on this motion today. But I would like to say the coalition government is the best friend of the people of Indi. The coalition government is the best friend of rural and regional Australia because in contrast to our $100 million program, the previous Labor government over six years did not contribute one cent, Madam Deputy Speaker, not one cent to fixing mobile phone black spots. And in my first speech, I proudly stood up on behalf of the people of Dereal and I spoke about how that community in my electorate was ravaged by a bushfire in early in 2013. They were hampered because they had no communications. The telephone lines were down. They could not get the emergency alerts. And I went in and I vowed to fight for them and I vowed to fight for the people of Birragara, the people of Jellybrand and every other community in my electorate. I agree with the member for, for Indi. I would like to see more funding in this program because it is a wonderful program. And I've already been lobbying the Minister for Communications in relation to, to more funding. It is a wonderful program and, quite frankly, it is a ter terrible reflection on Labor that they have not recognised how important mobile phone communications is, uh, like the NBN rollout under Labor, an utter disaster. The Labor Party, the previous federal government, did not recognise that you must prioritise the areas that need communications the most like the MBN, like food labelling, like standing up for small business. We are working very hard to stand up for, for rural and regional communities across Australia, like the fight for fairer fuel prices, another fight that you didn't hear of under the previous government. There are big challenges, as the, uh, the member for Indi has recognised, but I do want to say that of the 6,000 mobile phone black spots that have been identified, around 4,500 are sufficiently close to other nominated locations, such that it is likely that one base station will be able to provide mobile phone coverage to a number of black spots. So that's very, very heartening. I also commend the Minister's work in relation to identifying the partnerships, the co-contributions, and I particularly in my electorate want to commend the Golden Plain Shire, which has put forward a proposal in relation to a co-contribution. I've called on the Colac Otway Shire to do that as well. And the City of Greater Geelong, I would like to see more action from the City of Greater Geelong, making a co-contribution, whether in dollars or in kind. Even places like Armstrong Creek, a great developing part of the Greater Geelong region, so many people living in Armstrong Creek cannot get mobile phone coverage. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, for the people of Birragara, for the people of Dereal and Jellybrand, all the other parts of my electorate and right across Australia. We are incredibly proud of our commitment. Yes, I too would like to see more funding. And in fact, I'm so determined, Madam Deputy Speaker, that on a recent visit by the Prime Minister to my electorate, I said, we must stop past in Birragara. We stopped past 
and dropped into the Birugara General Store where they serve a wonderful toasted sandwich and a great cup of coffee. And I said, Prime Minister, I'm bringing you here to Birugara because the people of Birugara need a mobile phone base station. They cannot do business in this wonderful part of the world unless they get the communications. I'm very proud of our government's commitment to this wonderful program. I support the motion and I condemn Labor for its absolute failure to invest in mobile phone communications.